Third round underway. Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. Hooker gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here. Just oh, dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get oh, him. he might be out. Oh, nice high kick. Oh, nice right hand. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Lands the right hand. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Oh, that right hand is on point. Three minutes to go in round three. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas. Nice punch there. Guy's attacking the triangle, he finds himself in trouble because he got a little bit lazy in the full guard. Looks like he's trying to manipulate the head. This could be tight. Oh! And this might just be a matter of time. Brilliant submission defense there. All right, right into side control here, DC. Biggest difference between half guard and side control. Well, side control to me feels like a little bit less control because now my legs aren't really doing anything anymore. Now I'm controlling you with my upper body. So I've got to be very, very aware. It's still advantageous, but it just seems a little more free-flowing than having something like a half guard. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Hooker. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. 